when people know about my past and then they find out that I have a daughter, I get judgment. And I think I've had enough of that. When my daughter was born, she had a medical problem. While my daughter was in the intensive care unit, Child Protective Services opened an investigation on me. They did do a six month investigation where I had to be supervised and I was not allowed to be alone in the home with her. I felt bad because it's like, oh my God, I'm someone that no one trusts with a baby. But at the same time, it was like, oh my God, let them see, let them investigate. Part of my fight is to make sure that I am being accountable because you can have three moms in the mall yelling at their kid to stop touching the toy, but if I'm one of those moms, why is she yelling at her kid like that? You know, I get the extra look. Oh, we're not jumping on the stairs, come on. I understand that because a lot of people don't know how to process what happened to me, but I don't have time to entertain the judgment. She's my daughter, I'm her mom, my story might not make you happy, my life might not make you happy, but what's important to me right now is that I go forward because she needs me full time. Rhea, one of your biggest concerns is you don't want anything to happen with Child Protective Services or any of the social agencies with regard to your daughter, right? Um, that was, that's a fear, but I, I keep myself accountable. You've written to me a few times. Uh, you wrote at the end of last year and, yeah. and said, my mom came on the show to discuss um, this, she called, you, you called it a cult that I was in. I, I want a chance to tell my story. It doesn't belong to the world, it's mine. I also want some help to start advocacy uh, for spiritual abuse and postpartum depression. Yeah. Uh, and you're looking for a way to to heal and to help others not get in this situation. And also my position in this is that I, w I was there and I am his mom. And so in some ways, it's okay to say you are responsible. But also I am, st it took me years to admit that I was also a victim in this. And there's no way that I could have just said, I'm gonna grab him and run out the door. There is always a real threat. and. I just let things happen because I didn't even know what to do and I just, I just didn't do anything. What we went through, he did not deserve, none of it. I won't let him and all of the pain that he went through be for nothing. Did you have at the time the ability, the ego strength, the psychological strength to pick that child up and walk out that front door? No, I was terrified. What did you think would happen if you did that? Immediately after that, she told everyone to watch me. So that it, <laughs> it's yeah. just, it, it, she said that to, to make, to, to give the illusion of a choice. I mean, ultimately I can, I can try to walk out the door, but again, if I don't make it out the door with him, there is more consequence. If I make it out the door and he doesn't. So you felt your safest option was to stay there and try to see it through? To be honest, I felt that if I, the more obedient I was, this would not go as far as it did. And then it just kept going, and then it just kept going, and I could not deal with this. And I, I hate myself for that. I hate myself for that every day. But the fact is, I couldn't deal with it, and I, I could not process this. I could not fight this. I remember feeling like if I just knew how to fight it, then maybe I can fight it. I don't know how to fight it. So, so you, 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 you shut down. You cannot be. You cannot show anything that is that is in, indicative of not going along. If you do that, you risk the chance of 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 more, of more, of more. And and this is another thing that that was mentioned is that you know I my disobedience will hinder his process. This was not faith. This was just strictly control. This is, I see where you're weak. I'm going to stick the knife and I'm going to twist it because I can. And you, there's nothing you can do. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.